I believe we are just one major world crisis away from having a totalitarian type of system in place. Um, our indebtedness here in the United States is now approximately $65 trillion in foreign obligations. It's way beyond what most people realize. It can never be repaid. And because the United States has presented a, a, a specific challenge to globalists, uh, because the American people have always been an independent, freedom-loving people, so how do you get the United States into a global government? Well, ultimately, you have to crash their economy and make them so dependent on foreign powers that you can blackmail them to come into a system. The, the thing about this is you have to you have to have a crisis big enough for the public to be able to uh, accept whatever the solution is. It, you know, it can't be a half a big crisis. It's like Rahm Emanuel said a few months back. You know, the last thing you want to waste is a good crisis. Every time we turn around, there's a new crisis. There's an economic crisis. There's a war crisis. There may be a pandemic crisis. There's a crisis everywhere you look, and. As long as people are in this crisis mode, uh, they're not very uh, vigilant about uh, watching what's happening to their liberties. Uh, all they're thinking about is, oh, government, do something, protect me, save us from all of this. And the government says, yes, that's exactly what we intend to do. Every time there's a new war or a threat of war, there's more motion in the direction of merging our military with other national military forces through the United Nations, so-called peacekeeping forces. So all of these crises lead to more legislation, more treaties, uh, and a more uh, movement in the direction of giving up our sovereignty as a nation, merging with a global structure, and the creation of that global structure into a totalitarian system.